Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Antonio Santo. Um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm currently doing the PhD at the Miguel Hernández University. Um, I'm going to speak about the research that we are carrying out. So uh, the title, as you can see, is Estimation of Potentially Traversable Free Zones for Autonomous Roads. So <clears throat> here I present the topics that I discussed during the presentation. And uh, first of all, what we need to understand uh, is the traversability concept. Um, <clears throat> today, uh, several existing approaches treat the traversability estimation as a seman binary semantic cementation task. So given an input uh, as an image or a point cloud uh, doesn't get the domain, two dimensions, or three, dim three dimensions, um, what we try is infer its traversability condition uh, because of um, <clears throat> they have associated a discriminant feature. So, uh, previous studies was, uh, has been submitted to national and international conferences, uh, but today I'm going to speak about our latest research, uh, the TNEX, a data-based 3D sparse convolutional network for traversability estimation. Um, this work has been submitted to um, a journal and we are in the second revision process. So uh, what we tried with this paper was uh, propose a fully convolutionally run network for, traverse for traversability estimation uh, based on a 3D sparse data and convolutional blocks. So these blocks fuses um, current trends um, such as attention mechanism and uh, convolutional and convolutional 3D, 3D sparse convolution because of the nature of the data we are working on. So uh, in order to obtain the, the, final, the final version of the neural network, uh, we did what is usually called like an ablation study. So the ablation study investigates the performance of uh, certain, <coughs> certain components of the neural network to uh, to know the behavior if we remove it uh, from the structure. So here we saw, uh, we can see some experiments related to the input feature. Uh, what does it mean, the discriminant feature? Uh, also about the macro design of the structure to the neural network and the micro design just changing uh, some layers, like activation layers, or the, all these kind of things. So regarding to the results, uh, our main purpose was uh, to be competitive in, in urban environments, but also uh, we, we, we thought that would be awesome uh, just improve outperforming the sem semantic cementation um, methods, uh, the state of the art methods in, in natural environments. So we achieved that. Uh, we are in 82% in, in the metric F1 score. Um, and here we can see some inferences from the, uh, from the neural network T-next. Um, on the top we can see a um, natural inference of a natural environment, uh, and at the bottom we can see an urban one. Um, results obvious that the natural environment is shows more difficulties, uh, and the colors represent the matrix confusion components. Uh, in blue we have the true positives, in orange we have the true negatives, in purple, uh, we have the false positives, and in yellow, we have the, um, the false negatives. So as a future work, uh, what, um, we would like to estimate the traversability on a continuous approach. Um, what does it mean? Well, this means uh, create a neural network that infer the, um, <clears throat> how much it costs to traverse some zones of the around of the environment and also capture our own databases from the city of Elche. So thank you very much for your attention. And